Well, <laughs> nothing says welcome to Minecraft quite like starting the game up in a tree. Oops, I have to remember I'm in hardcore. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Emmy, and welcome to my very first hardcore series. I have dragged my feet for ages, not really wanting to commit to a hardcore world because it pains my soul to think of putting all that time and effort into a world that can be taken away in an instant. I mean, one bad decision and it's all over. And let's face it, I'm practically the CEO of Bad Decisions Incorporated. But you know, we'll just take it nice and easy and do the best we can, build the most we can, and see how we do. I do have a brightness mod that I plan to use in order to make the videos easier to view. Apparently I need to remap the keybind because I keep hitting it on accident. I will try to remember to include a list of all the mods I use in the description. But for now, it's time to craft our very first wooden pickaxe. And I'm gonna leave the crafting table behind as a bit of a memorial for our very first crafting experience in this world. All right, we've made some progress. We have entered the Stone Age. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how I plan to approach this game. Right now, this is like my favorite time playing in any Minecraft world as I love the early game grind. So I figure it kind of goes hand in hand with hardcore mode is I'm just going to take my time. I'm not going to rush to try and get as far as I possibly can, as fast as I possibly can, because I think that robs one of the joy of the game. At least it does for me. That being said, I do have some goals in mind. I think 30 days is reasonable. I'm not sure, but my first goals are to build a starter house. I would like to find every wood type available. And I also want to make sure I find a village. And obviously I need to start thinking about some food too. I, I know it's kind of silly, but I don't like killing the cute little pigs and I feel bad killing the cows. The fish, I'm not quite as emotionally attached to, so I think I'll just see if I can grab some easy food this way. All right. It will be nice to uh, work on getting a fishing pole. I'm. I'm weird. I like fishing in the game. Even if I'm far enough along I don't need to, I still enjoy it. I find it very relaxing. But, yeah, for now, the axe, she is my fishing rod. Also, I want to warn you up front, I am a simple player. I don't do huge mega farms. I don't do huge mega bases. I'm, I'm just kind of, I, I build what I need and I try to make it look good. And I'm excited to get the first bits of iron. That is fantastic. Ooh, and even some coal. And coal is very much welcomed because I'm definitely gonna need some torches pretty soon. As much as I love the dark oak forest, I do not want to spend my first in-game night here. It is too dark, too crowded, and I will surely die. Is that a woodland mansion. It is. It is indeed. What are the chances of that? I love it. Definitely not going in there, but there shouldn't be any bad guys outside, so I, I think we'll go take a little peek in the windows. Hello, creeper. Ooh, hello, bookshelves. Oh. You know, I'll bet if we were very, very careful, we could come back here later and just kind of sneak into the side of the house and borrow some of those bookshelves, maybe? Now, how do I get off of here? Ooh, that is amazing. All right, I really want to jump. It's, it's a little risky. I don't know. Can you imagine losing your hardcore world because of one foolish decision like this? But I have to do it. I know I do. One, two. Ooh, Woo! okay. <laughs> that was... I admit it. I admit it. It was really stupid. But here, hear me out. I figure, take a chance like that early on, because worst case scenario, if I would have died, it's not like I would have lost a lot of progress. But I would have been sad, because I do actually... Hello, B. I do actually really like this seed. It looks really, really cool so far. So at this point, I'm thinking we need to kind of start to figure out where we want to land for the night. You know I've got a crazy idea. That island seems like the perfect place to go. Surrounded by water, which makes me feel at least a little bit safer from mobs. We'll get it nice and lit up, and I think it will be the perfect place for us to settle down. 
For now, anyway. I'm wondering why I can't swim. Thinking the game's, like, broken somehow, but I just realized it's because I'm extremely hungry. So I'm going to torch this real quick. And then I think it's time we get uh, some of this fish cooked up and get a bite to eat. That should hopefully be enough to keep the mobs at bay. And I know I shouldn't, but that looks like an invitation. I think before it gets dark dark, let's just zip down there real quick and see if there's anything worthwhile. I actually can't remember. I know there's usually fishing rods in there, but aside from that, I can't remember if there's anything that good. But there's only one way to find out. And in my excitement, I almost forgot that I really need to eat first or I actually probably will die. So I'm just going to make up a campfire, which I think is one of the smartest things you can do early game because you can cook food basically for free. And look at that, it was even delivered. All right, let's go off on our quick adventure now that we've got our strength back. All right, I'm extremely nervous about Drowned. I don't think I see any, but we'll take a little peeksy down here. I don't see any. We might have a clear shot here. If I can do it in one breath quickly. Ooh, treasure map. We will take everything except the rotten flesh and catch your breath. Hurry. <laughs> okay. Woo. All right. There's one. No fishing pole, however. I still don't see any drowned. So let's see. I didn't bring a shovel. That was not very good planning on my part. Hopefully the chest is easy to get to. I don't see it, however. Uh, come on. Oh, yes. And fishing! Yay! I didn't even didn't even get to see what enchantment is on it. Hopefully something good. And oh, I really want to go to these. I feel like I'm pushing my luck now. Oh, buddy. I hope things get better. I think that's it for now. We can always come back to these later. I think it's time to head back to the island and hope that we did a good job lighting it up. I would say that was a pretty successful first day. I think we'll do a little bit of fishing through the first night. And considering we don't have a bed, I'd say we've done a pretty darn good job. So I did feel a little bit guilty spending so much time fishing. And so I figured, well, you know what? I better do some mining. But in the course of making my mining path, I ran into a very large body of water. And I'm not quite sure it's worth tackling at this point. Ooh, although I do see there are some resources down there, but it's also deep slate, which I know would be a bear to dig up underwater. So I think for now, I'm just gonna drop off the items that I did manage to mine. And it's looking to me like it may be daylight outside again. So congratulations to us. We've survived our first official night in Hardcore Minecraft. And if I'm being honest, I've got that treasure map on my mind, so I think I'll get things smelting and we should go for a little adventure. Ooh, I matey, what do I spy but a pirate ship? I love the above ground ones. All right, let's see if we can get anything good out of this baby. And the part I love the most is when it's above ground, is I don't have to worry about drowning. I have never been so happy to see my namesake, Taters! Oh, and Moss, I'm very, very happy with this. Good grief, next time remind me to empty my inventory before we go treasure hunting. We are definitely getting close. Woohoo! And no diamonds, but oh, I'm very, very happy with that. Now that I'm starting to rack up some resources and treasures, I think it is about time that I have a little hodgepodge area for some chests. Definitely temporary, but it should at least help, I hope. And now that I have some vegetables, I think I shall make a little farming area over here. Again, just temporary until we kind of know what we're doing. But at least for now, we can get things growing. And just like that, we've got our first crop. 
And apparently we also have some riffraff in the neighborhood. Yep, looking at you, bud. So I've been working on getting down to the bottom of this big, deep, watery pit. I don't know if this is one of my brighter ideas. I don't even know if it's going to be possible for me to mine anything up. But I... Ooh, I'm almost out of air. Ooh, <laughs> my toe's caught. Quick, 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 quick. Ooh, breathe, breathe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like I'm not too worried about it, but it's still... Honestly, it still does make me nervous because, yeah, I'm me. So, on the one hand, I have this idea that I will make the stairwell down there and work on drying it all out. And on the other hand, I'm thinking I don't really want to spend the time doing that. And that I might just try to come down here and grab these resources. Actually, let me see how horrible this is going to be to get through. Watch the air. Nope, nope, nope. Go up. Abort mission! Okay, I've got a plan B. We're gonna try that. Hang on. All right, I'm bringing the doors to the fight. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there and see if it will work to do the door method so I can get a pocket of air. And actually, will it make the mining itself faster? Here's the big test. Oh, oh yes. Brilliant. So I'm just going to swim from one area to the next and mine the goods. And the most beautiful part is, for the most part, I don't have any creepy crawlies to worry about down here. I hear creepy crawlies, but I believe they're on the other side of the wall. This is working out so incredibly well. <gasps> Even better than I expected. Holy cow, our first diamonds. It, this is this is amazing. <laughs> this is I've I've never actually done mining quite like this before. This is fantastic. I'm so used to the early game going down in the deep caves and it's absolutely terrifying because there's so many mobs. This was never even on my radar. Now it will be. I would say that was a pretty darn good haul. I want to cook up this iron and shoot, we're going to be able to pretty much get geared up at this point. We are not doing too shabby, my friends. Well, if you were wondering what day we're on, I can definitely tell you we're on night three, courtesy of the Phantoms. Uh, at some point, even though I don't want to sleep a lot in this world, we definitely do need a bed. Because these guys are what nightmares are made of. Hiya! So we've done quite a bit of traveling and adventure, but it's definitely time to start buckling down. We need a proper shelter. I, I do have this... Don't mind that. That's, that's just a mod. My armor shows when I'm hit, otherwise I hide it. But anyway, yes, uh, I've built this canopy for the fishing area, but everything here is temporary, and I'm, I'm kind of tired of living in a temporary state, so it's time that we start to buckle down. Ugh, I hate these things! So in the midst of going out to gather resources so that we can finally build our first starter home, I have managed to run across an outpost. And my thrill in finding the outpost isn't because of the treasure or because of the pillagers, it's because of the wool. And I'm just gonna see if I can sneak some of this real quick and call it a day. All right, that is already enough for a bed. But since there's nobody here, I, I might as well grab a little bit more. Oh, I just... I'm tempting fate. I understand this completely. But hey, I've got a shield. And these guys aren't too hard to handle. It's, uh... It's those raids where we start getting the Johnnies with the axes that uh, things start to get a little dicey. Oh, I've been discovered! Sorry, fellas! Uh, you didn't really need it anyway, did you? Nah. You're good. Thank you! Bye! I have spent quite a lot of time gathering supplies and getting things ready for us to build the starter house. 
And I've also been working just a little bit on expanding the island. I've been trying to do it in such a way that it doesn't change the original layout too much because I love this little island and I want to preserve it. I just definitely need a little bit more breathing room for the house. Not a lot, just a little bit. When I say I spent a lot of time gathering resources, I mean I really spent a lot of time. It is now officially, wow, day 15. I don't even know what day it was when I started, but we've definitely burned a lot of the midnight oil. Also, since it's such a deep waterlogged area to try and do the mining tunnel, um, I've decided because, let's see if I can show you. Do you see how, nah, it doesn't show, let me, what the heck was that? Did anybody else hear that? Okay, um, oh, that's what it was. Can he get up here? He wouldn't dare, would he? He's got a nice shovel. Dude. It's like whack-a-mole. Critical hit. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Um, as you can see, land is not very far down in the water over here, so I'm thinking... I'm going to try a new mining entrance from this direction because it should be able to get under the water much easier than going that direction. So that's what I'm going to try. First is house. I'm a little bit worried. I've got plenty of wood, I think. It's the sand that I'm concerned with because I do plan to use quite a bit of sandstone and smooth sandstone. But luckily, sand is a plenty over here, so I can always go get more if I need it. I'm going to start working on building the house. And to spare you all of watching me place it block by block, I think we'll go ahead and do a time lapse. <music> I mean, seriously, what kind of luck is that? I spent so much time and energy building this house, and now that I want to show it to you, it's dark and it's rainy. How about we take a quick peek on the inside? As you can see, I've done nothing with the floors quite yet, but I do, however, have plenty of storage to get me started anyway. That's mostly what a house is for me, is just a place to store my stuff. And then if we come right over this way, this is where I plan to have the bubble column elevator going up to the second floor and probably a little drop right over here. And for now, we can take the temporary ladder upstairs. Not much to see up here yet either, but I do know that I plan to have an enchanting table set up right over this away. And where that dirt block is, uh, I want to have a redstone light or redstone lamp, but uh, I got to get the ingredients for it first. And that's pretty much the inside. So while we wait for the rain to pass, I figure I will do a wee bit more mining and thought we could kind of talk and get to know each other a little bit better. I'm curious to know, how did you guys get started playing Minecraft? I know for me, <laughs> believe it or not, I actually... Uh, probably sounds weird but I used to play Call of Duty all the time and this guy that I played with is like oh you know you got you got to try this game you got to try this game and I really didn't even want to but I did and I hated it at first but uh, apparently I stuck with it long enough that I got the bug and and speaking of bugs it looks like there's a a little green exploding bug on the other side of this wall we need to take care of and one more and that should do it all right, it's our first encounter with Tough. I love that stuff. I'm really looking forward to the new blocks that are coming out with the next update. And I hear spiders and I see diamonds. We, we are actually doing really well with the diamonds. I'm a little nervous about all those spiders. I have a feeling we're, we are going to break into a big cavern 
Is that what I call it? A big cave at some point. So we're going to go nice and easy. Alright, not a, not a bad diamond haul. Oh, dang. Are we in another big... Is it a big underground lake? Or is it just a... Looks like it might just be a water stream coming down. Let's see if we can get a little better look here. And I see nothing. All right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I see a spider spawner. Uh, you know what? We haven't even made a sword yet. Okay, I think... I think I'm going to go back up top for a minute, unload some of this stuff, get some of that iron cooking, and make a proper sword. Because I don't... I don't feel good about going in there with just an axe. I just... I don't... No, I just... No. No, no. I, I think I'm just going to go up for now, and I will come back in a minute. You know what? For all the diamonds that we found so far, we have not spent a single one. These are the first. So I figured, you know what? If we're going to make a diamond sword, then I think it's only right that we go ahead and make ourselves a diamond pickaxe as well. Now, I would love to tell you that I've got a fantastic plan of exactly how I'm going to approach this. But I don't. I'm just going to go nice and easy. And, and where are where are the other ones? That's it. I don't see them anywhere. And I don't hear them. So perhaps going Ooh, look at all the diamonds! Perhaps going upstairs was not the worst thing I could have done. Oh, I wish I had a fortune pickaxe, but you know, at this point I, I I'm just gonna grab them. These as well. Look, there's more behind there. Just one. Okay, can't complain. Ooh, and our first enchanted book. Mending. I, I didn't even... How is that possible? I have never, ever gotten a mending book in a mob spawner dungeon like this, ever. I am absolutely not complaining. I just literally did not know it was possible. I mean, how, how many years have I been playing? I've never, ever, ever gotten a mending book like that in one of these chests. All right, I, I, <laughs> I'm ecstatic. I've got zero complaints. That is, that is amazing. And the funniest part about it is that had it not been for the rain, I would not have been digging down here. And I would have never found it. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot it was sunny when I went upstairs. So when we're done here, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to look at the house finally. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, enough of the underground. I am so excited to show you the completed house build. Ta-da! <laughs> it's, it's so hard to see it because it's up on the hill and the island's so small I can't get back very far. Oh, but I have to turn on shaders. That was a big debate for me, whether or not to play the game with shaders on or just play the standard style. I opted for standard, but man, then I see something like this and I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer watching with shaders on or just the normal view? I'm very, very happy the way that the starter house turned out. However, there's another house that I have my eye on and it's this one right over here because I really want some of those books because I want to get an enchanting table set up. So what do you say we pay a quick little visit to our neighbors over... Actually, where are they? To the south? Yep, to the south. I mean, I, they wouldn't mind if we just kind of drop by and introduce ourselves a little bit, would they? Nah. All right, do we need to get up to the roof or were there bookshelves on this level? There are bookshelves here. All right. Okay, this is one of those rare occasions where I actually do have kind of a plan anyway. As I'm thinking with the bookshelves being so close to the wall, all we have to do is break out a portion of the wall and grab the bookshelves. 
And if there's any gaps, then we can always just fill them in with other blocks so that none of the mobs can reach us. That's the idea anyway. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, the grunting's making me a little nervous. All right, let me just kind of work my way up high so that if there is somebody on the other side of this, uh, we will not be in their line of sight. All right, so far so good. Uh, be overly cautious and plug that hole. <laughs> Let's just see what we're dealing with. All right, I don't see anybody. I, all right, I, I want to be so careful not to be like stupidly greedy or let my guard down and end up paying the price. I'm gonna grab these. Do I dare go for the ones further in? I really want to. I'm a little scared. Ooh, I know what I could do though. I'll block off the entrance so nothing can come in. Woohoo! That was so obvious. Okay, it took me a hot minute, okay? Alright, this is this is now our room. We could live here if we wanted to. Ah, but we don't want to. We've got a fantastic house we built. We just want to borrow a few books as if they are the library. But uh, I, I shan't be returning them, so don't hit me with a bad overdue fee. And I have returned once again to the upstairs of the new house because I've got a special little spot that I know I want the enchanting room to go. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the microphone. In the evening if I record, she tends to get up on my lap, and uh, she's got a lot to say. She's She's got opinions here, people. Yep. Uh, okay, I need some more books, so I'm going to head back and grab a few more from the upper level. If anything goes bad, I'll include that, and if everything goes fine, then we'll just skip right back to here. Okay, change of plans. I know I told you I was only going to include it if something went bad. And and don't get me wrong, it still could go bad. But uh, I fished for a, a couple minutes and then all of a sudden it was daylight again. So I figured, well, you know what? Never mind. We'll just go over there together. Woo! Dude, don't jump scare me like that. Goodness. Ugh, seriously, he like came out of nowhere. But uh, I figured I'm, I'm going to make a little safety ledge here just in case. And... I, I feel I feel pretty confident about this, and I think they're too deep, so uh, I think this should be pretty straightforward. All right, I'm gonna block block this off just in case anybody can get through, which they can. All right, we got this. Look at that. Look at that. It's just free. It's free for the taking. <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry that my cat has provided so much narrative in here. I don't know how many of those little... She does like a little chirp meow. I don't know how much of that you've picked up on. But it's it's cute, but I'm really sorry about it. Dude, this is... Uh, this is crazy. Like, I literally... I've never done this in a game before because I don't think I've ever spawned this close to a woodland mansion. But uh, this is just... This is a breeze. All right, I'm going to finish cleaning up here and then... Uh, and then I'll meet you back at the house. You know, actually, I can never remember how many bookshelves you actually need. So uh, I'm just going to spam them around and hope for the best. I mean, I, I'm sure this is more than I need. It'll be fine. And the last order of business is the enchanting table itself. I always forget it's two diamonds. My first thought is always it only takes one. It's a little bit pricey, but... It will be well worth it. Block of dirt, you served your purpose well. Ah, uh, it is a beautiful sight to behold. And, okay, so touching our future. I think I'd rather have fortune, or hopefully there's efficiency five attached to it, but we need some more levels for that. And I'm a little embarrassed to tell you this, but we've actually reached day 30. And the only thing I accomplished from my hit list was getting a house built. But we still do not have all the wood types. We are missing acacia and mangrove, my favorite, and the cherry wood. And we actually never found a village. Actually, we don't even have any animals. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but there's like no animals around here so far. 
So we've got a lot coming up in our future. So I think I'm going to end today the same way I basically started it by doing some fishing and some reflecting. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you will subscribe and join me on the next one and I'll see you later. Bye bye.